The European Commission basically is about regulating industries and also companies to a certain extent in Europe. The finals industry is very proud with its finals 2010 program because they, they say it successfully demonstrates how an industry can achieve recycling, for in this case, on a self-regulation basis. How do you see that from the European Commission? Well, I mean, Vinyl 2010, I think, is an achievement. I, I would agree with that. Uh, I'm not so terribly happy about the word self-regulation, as I prefer personally to call it a voluntary commitment, simply for the fact because it was an initiative that was created by the industry, the entire value chain, the various actors in this value chain, to do things voluntarily. So, do you have to call it self-regulation? I don't know. You can probably call it that way uh, but that to me implies a perspective where you want to replace regulation by others with this whereas I would prefer to think that it is a voluntary commitment an initiative taken by the industry out of its own drive to improve matters. Does that voluntary commitment from the industry then uh, has that created a situation where no more regulation is necessary for vinyls? That's arguable. I mean, there are certain things in Vinyl 2010 that have replaced or that could replace regulation. That is true. For example, the phase out of the lead stabilizers or the phase out of cadmium stabilizers. But there are other elements that um, where probably still regulation is necessary. And here I'm thinking of some of the phthalates. And this is important to say, not all the phthalates, but some of the phthalates. And they have been regulated in the framework of REACH. There have been restrictions, there have been bans, there are nominations to place some of these phthalates on the uh, candidate list for authorization or even on Annex 14 of REACH. So for parts it has replaced regulation, for others not. And the recycling that you mentioned earlier for me and the work that has been done to create networks to collect waste and to recycle it is also something that I don't see immediately uh, as, as regulation but it's really uh, initiative, commitments, activities that go beyond regulation. Finals Plus is the name of the, the new voluntary commitment program for the next 10 years. What will you or what will the European Commission be looking at in Finals Plus? Well, I said so earlier in my, in my uh, presentation. We are looking for more ambitions in terms of recycling, I mean, increasing quantities. We've heard the 200,000 tons plus that have been achieved in 2010. Uh, some compare it to the production figures, for example, which are in the order of six million tons so it might appear low but of course we have to bear in mind that many of the products that we are looking at have a long lifespan so what's coming as waste today is something that was sold and used many many years ago but then in the next perspective of course the next 10 years you have to increase the quantities there's no way around that uh, for the additives I would indeed very much support that the phase out of the lead is completed as it has been announced and that there are also some more critical looks at some of the uh, softeners some of the that are still in use, maybe there's more scope for action there. But in a perspective of sustainability, of resource efficiency, the primary objective must be more recycling. Mechanical recycling as the material itself, but also maybe more uh, innovative ways of recycling in different ways and different products that up to now have not lent themselves to be mechanically recycled. Chemical recycling or the vinyl loop process or some of the others that have already been experimented with maybe they need to be revisited and reinforced also in the future. The industry in Vinyls Plus is indicating that it wants to recycle some 800,000 tons. Uh, that would be more than triple what, what has been achieved so far. Is that sufficient for you? Sufficient? Is it sufficient? Is it not sufficient? Hard to, for me to judge just like that. I would need to see also the figures of what is expected as a waste that becomes actually available uh, in the future. Uh, I know that the calculations have been made uh, building on scenarios where lifetime of products has been taken into account and whether or not they will actually ever uh, become waste. We know, for example, that some of the pipes that have been laid into the ground, they will not be recovered because it's easier for uh, the ones who are replacing them to just leave them there and replace them with other ones. Um, so I would have to see the figures also of these calculations on which the 800,000 uh, tons are based to say it is good, it's not good, it's sufficient, it's not sufficient. But the overall message can only be the more, the better. So overall it's clear though that uh, the European Commission will continue to watch the industry, but you're encouraged by what you're seeing here. 
am encouraged by what I've seen so far and we will continue to watch the industry, yes. Uh, I would expect that there will be a monitoring committee set up as for Vinyl 2010, also for the successor agreement Vinyl Plus and there uh, we would definitely be willing to participate and continue monitoring what's happening indeed, yes. Mr. Bayon, thanks very much for your time.